trauma center. There is nothing else I can say. <laughs> Under the night. Yeah, last time, chapter one is still Dr. Stars. Now for some depressing music. Part seven, downpour. Let's just narrate this. I understand you didn't have much information to base a decision on. I do admit that the tumor was difficult to see from the x-ray. However, the laboratory had left you several memos about the patient. I understand that pointed out his extremely high numbers. More than that, you dumped your responsibilities onto a nurse, immediately following a very delicate operation. It was... I mean... Miss Thompson, what are you... Please excuse me for interrupting, Dr. Hoffman. Angie, save us! As I stand this a little rude, I have to say something. Good, this is the part where you save the protagonist with some niceties or something. What is it? It's about the negligent attitude Mr. Stiles has displayed this far. That it's all been a lie. I warned him about the patient at least three times, but he said that there was important personal matters he had to take care of. So back us up. Then he just walked out without another word. Angie. Mr. Stars, maybe you didn't harm the patient directly. But... Wah! How can I walk under a doctor who doesn't even try to act like one? It doesn't matter how small a groundless suspicion might be. The patients are dependent on you to take care of them. Why did you become a doctor? Do you even know? I... That is... I... You don't deserve to be here. I hate you so much right now, it's not even funny. You, you're not a real doctor. And you're not at all the ripper for the suka from Neon Genesis. Uh -huh. Back to the city walk. I really screwed up. I, I ignored the patient. I was trying my best. I didn't think it was anything serious. The patient almost died. And it was all my fault. Being called Dr. Stars doesn't make me a good doctor. What was I thinking? I'm no doctor. Not not if I keep making mistakes like that. Oh, well, looks like rain. Hurry up, you two. We need to get all our displays inside. Rain. Maybe that'll help calm me down. Maybe then I'll feel better. S sir it looks like you're completely soaked. Did you come from hospital? You might want to head back there soon. They don't want me there. I'm apparently useless as a doctor, anyway. Hey! Yeah, it's me! You'll never believe this! What? You can guess if you want. No, it's even better. There was this crazy accident with a truck and an SUV. It was nuts! The driver flew into the street. I am not messed up! An accident? We usually handle emergencies, but Dr. Castle's out of town. That means there aren't any emergency doctors on call! Now prepare yourself, because in the next part, which I shall screen very shortly, the music may be loud, but it will be epic.